no other living creature inspires more terror in people than the Cacardon cacarius or the great white shark. Referred to by experts as the apex predator, the great white is at the top of the marine food chain. Although the great white has gained the reputation of being a man-eater, it would be more accurate to describe this much maligned shark as a man-biter. Studies show that great whites rarely eat the humans they attack. Experts agree that in most cases, sharks have probably mistaken swimmers or scuba divers for marine mammals. In fact, when they realize that their prey is not an expected item on their normal menu, most sharks spit out what they've bitten. Shark expert Dr. Eugenie Clark explains the bite and spit theory. There are many cases of white shark attacks on humans where they have bitten and then released the person. I think this is the most common way that they don't feed on uh, normally on people so that the taste is alien to them and they'll spit the object out but because they have such sharp teeth a lot of damage can be done. I don't think that uh, they would normally go after a human but since we are mammals and they feed on marine mammals it's possible that occasionally they would eat humans. The great white lives in tropical, subtropical and temperate seas around the world in such places as Australia, South Africa, and both coasts of the United States. Although the great white migrates to the open ocean, it also swims in shallow water, very close to the shore where food is more easily found. Unlike any other shark that has been studied, the great white is known to stick its head out of the water in search of food. At least one scientist believes it performs this behavior near sunbathing sea lions to scare them off the rocks and into the water where they become vulnerable. Like the short fin mako, another warm bodied shark, the great white's body temperature keeps its muscles warmer, allowing it to move more quickly than other shark species. Dr. Charles Manier, a research biologist, explains how the great white eats. One interesting area in sharks is the way that they feed. They have a, an amazing ability due to the structure of their jaw, which is not firmly attached to the skull, they're able to move the jaw forward and down in order to open the jaw to a greater degree than, than mammals uh, or other animals would be able to. Consequently, they're able to grasp larger prey and, and ingest it. After expanding its jaw and making its initial attack, the great white will back off and wait for its prey to die from blood loss. Of the approximately 350 species of sharks, the great white is the third largest. It can grow to 21 feet in length, with females tending to be larger. Only the whale and basking shark are bigger than the great white, but they are quite gentle in comparison. The great white is a distant relative of the Cacaradon megalodon, the largest shark ever known to inhabit the ocean. Here, a tooth of a great white is compared with a fossilized tooth of its prehistoric ancestor, the megalodon. A row of the great white's teeth are as sharp as a hacksaw blade. There's still much we don't know about the great white, such as how far it migrates, how it mates, how it feeds, and how long it lives. What we do know is that the only predator of the great white is man. According to the National Marine Fishery Services, the great white is considered to be overfished. A decline in its population would greatly impact the food chain and severely hurt the marine ecosystem. For these reasons, if you ever do see a great white shark, treat it with respect, for it is truly the king of the ocean.